Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I'm very sorry to bring another bad news video about the Volkswagen ID3. So this week I got an email from a Danish subscriber and he told me that he was called by his Volkswagen partner that uh, he has a ID3 Pro S that his battery uh, a few battery modules will have to be changed. There's an arrow in the battery. And yesterday, next move, YouTube channel next move, I put the video here in their news, they reported about the issue. I contacted Volkswagen this week, but didn't get any reply. Uh, Next Move did, and uh, here's all the things that you need to know. And if you prefer to watch my videos in German, you can always go to my German Battery Life DE YouTube channel and watch it there. It all started with Volkswagen sending out letters to Volkswagen partners and dealers that uh, ID3 and ID4 built in a certain time frame have a faulty battery it uh, and the thing is that there are cells in the battery that are discharging differently than other cells so you get a lower voltage on some cells than others and that's a problem how you can see that well first of all you have less range than you should have had in the beginning or it changes um, also a big thing is that a full battery uh, shows a, a special range then you don't move it and suddenly it shows less range without turning on heat or AC or something just by itself and another thing is when the state of charge is low there's a sudden change in in range that's also not good if it's in a low state of charge that's a big problem because you might just stop <laughs> so don't floor it use less power because when you use a lot of power the voltage of the cells goes down and if this one cell already has a lower voltage it might be empty and then the car shuts down so low power go to the next charger and charge another thing that Volkswagen says depending on how strong the discharging is you might get a yellow message in your instrument cluster saying electric system error visit workshop that's another thing that you know um, and all over Europe there are 10,000 cars uh, that, that uh, have this issue in Germany 3,000 cars like I said ID3 ID4 mostly it uh, that was next move set in their fleet it's mostly first editions i know that my car is not has doesn't does not have a problem because i did first of all i haven't been contacted um uh, second of all I did a battery test with Evilu, video is here, and it shows that the cell with the lowest voltage and the cell with the highest voltage at 100% and then when I stopped the test at 9% and it was also almost almost the same and you can see that if there's a big change I would have noticed that and I tested the car already twice. Volkswagen knows about this issue because of the over-the-air connection from the car to the to the factory and so the car sent over hey there's a cell that has a very low voltage that shouldn't be the case uh, maybe you should take care of that uh, so that's very possible that you been, will be contacted very very soon um, if you're never online so if you do the offline mode all the time that's a problem <laughs> so um, maybe you can ask your Volkswagen dealer if your VIN is somewhere in there and they maybe have to check it or, or whatever but uh, it better be online and then but you can always ask at your dealership just to be sure um, what you can expect if you are one of this is a call from your Volkswagen dealer that you've been invited to the workshop they will test the battery they will test every cell it's uh, uh, with a special device it will take a day of work and if there is something bad they will ch uh, change the module there are, i think nine modules in the 58 and i don't know how many or seven uh, i'm not good with that but they will uh, change one or more modules of your battery and when you're there when when they do that anyways um, if you don't have 2.4 update yet and a 12 volt battery swap they will do that as well so that's good but let's hope Hope that you're not one of those people who have an ID3, ID4 with that battery problem. Um, it's good that Volkswagen is starting right now and, and notice that and it's good that it sends this over the air so Volkswagen knows this and preemptively does the change not waiting till someone uh, says hey I ran out of battery at 5% or 10% what's going on and then they do something. It's good that they do it preemptively. 
it's a that's a great thing but it's still not not uh, a good thing that this happened in the first time um so it had to do with the manufacturing problem with the manufacturing problem um hope it's sorted out soon um update on me i still don't have 3.0 update still hasn't arrived there's there's an error message like i said at the server I, uh, walter cannot download it asks but the server says no you're not getting it it's been six or seven weeks now beginning of august um no idea what's happening uh, i'm a bit disappointed um i don't know if i get 3.0 now uh, uh, in the, at the workshop because it doesn't work i don't know we'll see but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye